What's going on guys? Beer Gut Reviews here. Finally back at it, gonna be doing another WWE Elite Action Figure Toy Review. Hope you guys are excited for this one. I haven't posted one in a couple weeks and I do apologize for that. Um, I've just been extremely, extremely, extremely busy with working. Um, working my shoot job. I've probably worked about the past 24 days straight. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do my best to get this content up for you, get you guys taken care of. Um, if you guys like this type of content, you want to see this channel grow, please make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe to this channel for more great action or more action figure reviews. I don't want to say great. Uh, I think they're great. You may not. That's all right. This is just my opinion. I know I'm very... Again, I know I'm very forgiving with the toys, but also you got to remember the era I grew up with the, the, the LJN rubbers. Yeah, they're cool, everything like that. I think they're great, but, you know, the figures for the most part nowadays look so much better. The Jack Specifics, I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for them, but uh, let's just be honest. The toys nowadays are, are so much better. Guys, I want to mention Beer Gut Plays before we get this actual review started. Um, I'll be posting it off in the top right-hand corner. Uh, I'm currently doing a bunch of different WWE video game plays over there, whether it be 2K22, the What If Scott Hall Razor Ramon won a world heavyweight title, the What If, or uh, the My GM mode, that, that's big. And we are going to be bringing to you... Smackdown Shut Your Mouth season playthrough. That is a lot of fun. It's one of my personal favorite games of all time. Uh, definitely recommend you guys checking that out. Also be sure to check out my other channel, my brand new sports game uh, uh, channel, Beer Gut 410. You know, Beer Gut and 410, the area code I live in. So um, we're currently doing a... Kansas City Royals rebuild. I'm having a lot of fun with that. You know, a couple episodes in so far, so not exactly too far along, but be sure to check that out. But let's get this review underway. We are going to be starting with the Elite, and I believe this is the Elite 90. Yeah, Elite 90 J Uso. Snag this off of Ringside Collectibles. Obviously, that's my place to go. Um, I, I would love to start doing a figure hunt. That that would be awesome. But let's start with this review um, from San Francisco, California. Six foot two inches, 242 pounds, the Flying Ooze. SmackDown Tag Team Champ, the WWE Tag Team Champ, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner. After acknowledging Roman Reigns as the head of the table, Jey Uso became his right hand man, and transformed formed into main event, into the main event. Main event Jey. I, I enjoyed his matches because um, he had a couple matches against Roman, uh, Hell in a Cell, and there was a couple other ones. I thought it was really good. Let's get this bad boy opened up, though. And of course, you know my my philosophy as a figure collector is. You gotta let them breathe. I, I got that from from Ryder or Cardona uh, and Myers. I, I will open up every figure. Your collection is your collection. You do it how you want to do it. But I'm gonna let these bad boys breathe. So first thing I want to point out is you get the um, you get the lay. I think that's really cool. I think that's that's great. And I know in, in an upcoming series, they are supposed to be releasing a Jimmy Uso. So I do need him in the collections, but I, I figure I'd get the Jag, kind of get the Jimmy started, or get the, the Bloodline started. And once I get a better setup, I, I am going to, you know, do a, a home tour or home office tour just to kind of show you guys what I've got. I mean, for the most part, you've seen my collection, but... Alright, let's see. Let's get this bad boy out of there. I hate that they always do that. Alright. Well, let's let's start with, you know, comes with a removable t-shirt. 
I'm a get him. I love that. I think that's great. I think the phrase look really good. I think the face is really good. The interchangeable hands, although I don't see... I mean, he's got this... It's the same grip, pretty much. Um, let's see how he looks with the lay on. Oh, fuck yeah. That That is amazing. That is fucking amazing. I love that. I like the double jointed knees. You get the double jointed knees now in these new figures. The double jointed elbows. I am a super huge fan of this. Face. Let's take a close up on the face. It's pretty spot on, I'd say. I think it's pretty good. Um, my one major complaint with the figure is the white. I, I, I wish they would have picked it. And I know he was wearing a lot of white at that time. But if you're much like a collector like me, and you know you take everything out of the box, it, it's it, it's just bound to get dusty. Everything like that. Um, I think they did a really good job on the figure, though. I think he looks good with the uh, with the lay, and he is gonna go. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure where I'm gonna put him on the, you know, in the what you call it in the in the. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm blanking. Old Smoky Moonshine, apple pie. Um, I'm going to have to rearrange my shelves at some point. But I think I got to really... Uh, my, I got to put him with Roman. And I got to find a Paul Heyman. I want to create the whole bloodline. Um, but yeah, I, I thought they did a really good job. The tattoos. Now I, I wish... And that... That might be out of the realm of possibility, but the removable sleeve would be nice. Uh, the joints are a little wiggly, but that that's all right. Um, guys, I am a big fan of this figure. Big fan of the Usos. I, I think since they went to the um, you know the Uso Penitentiary, dropped the the face paint and the the board shorts and all that shit. They they have been one of my favorite tag teams, current tag teams. The guy is going to be the end of the toy review. Absolutely a big fan of this. If you guys are a fan of the Usos or need a really good looking Uso, Jay Uso in your in your collection, um, this one's the one to get, in my opinion. I've seen the other ones, and I I haven't seen the mock up for the new uh, Jimmy, but I'm super excited to see what that looks like. If you guys like this content, please make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe to this channel for more. And I will see you in the next video. Hope to see you guys. Peace out.